Conflict arises when two parties cannot reach their goals and they tend to get in each other's way and struggle for power. There are currently a lot of corporations in America and many of them obey the laws, however some of them don't. And when you bring issues to their attention, they pretend like they do not know what's going on and they will not respond to you. The task of avoidance shows little respect for anyone or the corporation you work for. Some corporations are even trying a method called power forcing, where they will wrong you and you bring it to their attention, they'll ignore you. And then if you try to seek um, retribution or justice, they will find it in their power to make your life hard on you. They'll send you threatening letters, threaten to sue you, threaten to send you to jail and stuff like that. And it's a really horrible um, way to deal with a problem. It also makes you look bad in the eyes of others as a corporate citizen. Many of these corporations that try power forcing are ignoring, ignoring conflict that is serious and they should address. Have a lot of personnel issues going on. Many of their employees are corrupt. They're using drugs and doing all kinds of things that they don't want anyone to, to discover. And so since there's a corporate criminal culture going on in some corporations, it becomes a way of life for these people and they see nothing wrong with their actions and behaviors and believe that they are so powerful that they'll never be caught, stopped, or terminated for their actions. While the misuse of authority happens and is tragic, it's not a widespread issue. There are many good corporations out there and they will address problems because they want their name to be cleared. These corporations spent, you know, some of them hundreds of years creating an image and they don't want that image to be torn down and destroyed within 10 years and so they'll take care of the employees that are doing wrong. Also, a lot of people are doing logical fallacies. They'll take one example, overgeneralize it and make a hasty decision about it without getting full details. A lover without discretion is no lover at all, much like an employee without discretion is not someone you should hire or have on your team. On to other stories, the newspaper. It's dying. Many newspapers are closing down, they're firing their staff and laying people off because they can't, they can't afford to pay them anymore. Subscriptions to newspapers have gone down. And I wanted to bring that to your attention because people always wait to the last minute to something's close to being extinct before they get emotional and nostalgic about something and realize it's something they really need. If we do away with the newspaper, then we'll probably try to do away with free TV next and you'll be without the media or any print information about what's going on in society. So you may want to pay attention and Pick up a newspaper every once in a while and read it. Also, the conflict in Gaza, you know, in Israel. So many people are concerned about that. But in America, in Detroit, for example, many families are going without running water. In Chicago, about 500 people a year are being killed because of gun violence. And in Missouri, there was recently a riot at Walmart because an unarmed teenager was shot. So. We should also be concerned about what's going on at home because it makes no sense to care about outside issues when our house is not in order and we cannot just send young men and women overseas to die. I mean, put yourself in that position. It makes no sense. The wars in the Middle East have been going on for hundreds of years and they're not going to stop until who knows when. Time is usually wasted in the same way every day. So instead of, you know, telling people to go to the Middle East and take action, why don't you start a peace campaign? Hey, you have a uh, Oh yeah, the uh, <coughs> the light fixture here. Yeah. Holy cow! Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Let me fix that right away. Okay. Uh. 
I need to go get my little light that will shine on you. Okay, cool. I got to turn the electrical off. Go ahead, just leave it all alone. Like okay, that. thank I'll you. Be right back. Okay. 